क्या आपको वीडियो एडिटिंग सीखना है तो दोस्तों आप सही जगह पे आए हो क्योंकि आज मैं आपको सिखाने वाला हूँ अडोबी प्रीमियर प्रो के बेसिक्स एंड बाई दी एंड ऑफ इट यू गेज बी एडिटिंग वीडियोज विच लुक समॉट लाइक दिस दोस्तों चालू करते हैं बाई लॉन्चिंग द सॉफ्टवेयर एक बार आपने सॉफ्टवेयर लॉन्च कर दिया यू विल सी अ स्क्रीन विच लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस गो हैड एंड क्लिक ऑन न्यू प्रोजेक्ट दिस विल ओपन अनादर बॉक्स विच लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस नेम योर प्रोजेक्ट यू गोट अ ब्राउज एंड सेव योर प्रोजेक्ट फाइल वेर एवर यू वॉन्ट टू जहां भी आपको सेव करना है वहां पर चूज करके सेव कर लेना है एंड गो हैड एंड क्लिक ओके वंस यू ओपन अप द सॉफ्टवेयर द ले आउट लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस नाउ द ले आउट चेंजेस फ्रॉम द वर्जन टू वर्जन बट द बेसिस ऑफ इट स्टे इज द सेम The first thing that you want to find is this area box right here, which is import media to start. This is where all your media will be imported, where all your data will be. Now the key thing to understand over here, guys, is that organization is very important. In editing, if your organization is good, you will be able to edit with more efficiency. So this is the place where you want to organize all your data. What I like to do is I like to create two different folders. If you see on the bottom over here, you're gonna see a folder like icon. Click on it, and this is gonna create a folder. What I like to do is create two different folders. One folder for all the footage that is taken from my camera, and the second folder for all the stock footage that I'm gonna need. That is my music, my stock footage, my any other resource. Everything goes into the other folder. So guys, I have created two folders here. Let's get into the first folder. Just double click. and over here i can import all the footage that is taken from my camera so i can right click and click on the import or i can just double click over here this is going to open up the dialog box and over here i have two different folders one is for my camera footage and one is for my stock footage so let's go into the camera footage select everything and click on import it's going to import all the files and there you have it the files have been imported now to go back to the folders you can see over here it says the name of the project just go ahead click over here you want to come back out of the folder to dusre folder mein jayega yahan pe hum log hamare resources jo apna music hai stock footage hai ye sab hum log yahan pe import karenge so that's good. now we have everything that we need to start editing our video so now i'm going to first go ahead and import and make a rough draft of the video that i need just import all the footage that i need and cut it out properly So for the first video, I think I want to use this one. When I double click on it, you all can see that the video opens up in source. Source is nothing but a trial preview of the video that you're trying to import. Over here, you can trim the video, making sure that you only pick up the part of the video that you want to use. So I want to start from where the movement actually starts. So I'm going to press I over here, or I'm going to click on this button. This is going to create an in point. So now the software knows that the video needs to start from here and I'm going to find the place where I want to stop this footage. I think somewhere around there seems fine. So I can go ahead and press O on my keyboard or place and mark out point which is right here. Then I can click on the footage and just drag it to my timeline. Timeline is the main place where your video actually comes together. This is how your video will look in the end. It's your final product. Over here, you can see that once I import it over here, this is my timeline. So my timeline is going to start from this video. Also, one thing to understand is timeline works in a form of layers. So you can see over here, it says V1, V2, V3. These are nothing but your video layers, and it says A1, A2, A3, which are your audio layers. so there can be infinite amount of layers and this is how a video actually comes together so next thing i'm going to do now that i have my first footage in the timeline i'm going to find the second footage so for my second one i would want to use this one same process again i'm going to use the part which i want to use so i think i'm going to start somewhere over here press i on your keyboard or give it an end point find the place where you want to cut i think over here is fine I'm going to press O on my keyboard or just click on the out point. Click and drag the video into my timeline and join it together. There we go. So now you can see the video is already starting to get created. Now one more thing that I want to do is actually get rid of the audio because I'm going to be adding music later. So for that, you're going to choose the clip that where you want to remove the audio from. You're going to right click and you're going to click on unlink. 
what unlink will do is it will make the video and audio two different entities so now i'm gonna go ahead and delete the audio over here unlink this also and delete the audio over here so there we go now we only have pure video one more thing that you should be playing around with is your sequence setting initially when you'll import a video into your timeline the timeline is going to take the resolution of the video that you have actually shot but to change that you can go to sequence on top over here sequence settings and you can go ahead and change the resolution as you like right now you can see it's on full hd you can change it to 4k you can you know make it instagram size insta story size whatever you like for this i am happy with full hd and having it 60 frames per second is good for me okay so now the next thing i'm going to do is actually create my rough timeline and later we'll get into transitions effects and all the other things there we go guys i am done placing the three videos that i want to use for this tutorial the video is going to start like this and it's going to end over here next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and add the audio so i'm going to go into the other bin which has all my stock resources i'm going to select the audio file that i want to import now the same thing as the video part select the part which you want to use exactly i want to use this drop so i'm going to go ahead find the place where the drop actually starts i'm going to place a in point either click i on your keyboard or you can use this marker key right over here i think that should be fine press o or again the marker key over here and that's going to make sure that only that much amount of your audio is taken into the timeline so now that we are, i have my audio selected i'm going to go ahead drag it into my timeline you all can see the audio is not long enough for the entire video so you're going to simply go in the end of the video you can see the cursor is going to change into this red figure you're going to click and drag it forward so now that the entire audio plays through the entire video ek chhota sa recap hum logo ne kya kya abhi tak kiya hai i taught you guys how to import your data how to organize your data how to choose and import your data into the timeline so right now we have our basic timeline ready like the rough skeleton of the video the next thing that i'm going to be talking about are all these tools over here i'm not going to be going through everything but we'll go through the basic ones the first one is the razor tool razor tool is nothing but it'll help you actually cutting your clips from wherever you want inside your timeline uh the next thing is the pen tool now the pen tool actually helps you adjusting levels for every entity you have okay i know that sounds very complicated but in simple language now supposingly you all can see that my audio is over here okay this bar that you see which is going up and down it is volume of that specific entity so if i take it lower it's going to be low but if i take it higher the lower it we take it the lower the volume will be the higher we take it the more loud it will be so basically when the video starts i want the music to gradually increase i just don't want it to start blasting out in the start so i'm going to take the pen tool i'm going to create two dots over here right and i'm going to pull this one down there you see i'm going to just zoom in right there now as i play the song it's going to sound like this it increases gradually and at the same time you want it to fade out too so i'm going to use the pen tool again create two dots over here and we're going to pull this one down so in the end the last one that we're talking about is the text one this is actually when it comes to adding titles to your video so you can actually select any part of the video where you want to put a title so and i'm going to click over here and this is going to create a new layer which is just going to be our text i'm going to go ahead and type whatever i want to so i'm going to type virag desai right i'm going to take the selection tool and you all can see this is a different layer altogether i can place it wherever i want make it short if i want and only for the span the layer is going to be there the text will show and it will disappear so i want i want actually this to come after the entire video ends okay somewhere over here to hum log ne virag desai hamara text title type kar chuke hai now it's time to edit it change the font the style whatever it is now before we actually do that i would want to talk about this panel on top over here which is called effect controls now every single entity every all the controls for it 
are done into the effect control section. So now if I choose Virag Desai and we see over here it says text Virag Desai. I'm gonna click this arrow over here and I'll, it's gonna drop down a bunch of menus. Now you all can see there are so many settings over here. I can mess around with the size of the font. I can change the font. So wait, I'm gonna change it to something which I like, which is any font you guys like. You can play around, there's so many. So this is one font that I really like. We're gonna make it center. Um, you all can also change how far apart are they, but that will all come later. That's actually, you can play around with all of these settings. I'm not gonna be teaching you every single one right now. I can also change this to color. So we'll change the color to something else. I, can, I think something like a yellow would look nice. Okay, there we go. So there you have it. I'm gonna make it a little small. There you have it. Now our text looks nice and this is something that I would like my text to look like. The video, the skeleton is properly ready. There we go. But now we need to add some video effects because the video is looking a little bland right now. It's not masala ni is man. We need to make it a little better, a little bit more interesting, visually more appealing. Our video effects you create bhi kar sakte ho. Bhot saare apne aap apko YouTube pe bhot saare tutorials bhi mil jayenge. But because this is a basic cute hai, I'm gonna be talking about the effects that are inbuilt into the software. So I'm gonna go to effects. This is where all the effects are there. You all can see in effects over here. It says video transitions. Let's go ahead and drop it down. Now you all can see there are a list of different transitions that Premiere Pro inbuilt comes with, which can be used. For example, let's say a page peel. Okay, a page turn. If I just drag it, click, drag, and I apply it on the clip that I want to. Now if I play it, you all can see an effect like that is created. If I don't like the effect, I can just simply select the effect and delete. I'm gonna go with really basic effects, which is the film dissolve, which you normally say a fade in and a fade out, which is the most classic, which is used in all the films. So it says film dissolve over here. Click, drag, and I'm gonna put it in the start. So now my video starts like this. It starts with a basic fade. The next thing I'm gonna do is actually create a gap between every single video of ours, right? So now, you all can see there is a little blackout in every single video. Why did I do this? Because I'm gonna add film dissolve at the end of every single footage, at the start and at the end. Isn't that cool guys? So this is time where I'm gonna give you guys a small tip which is gonna really help you guys out. So if you guys go ahead on Google images and type letterbox, okay, in the images, it looks something like this. A letterbox is nothing but the black bars on the top and the bottom of a video. So what you can do is you can select it and you can just drag it and put it on top of your entire timeline. So it's going to look something like this. I'm going to select it and I'm going to increase the size something like this. There we go. And I'm going to make sure it is there in the entirety of the video. Now, how will this help? You can instantly see that the video looks so much more cinematic with these black bars. This is before, this is after. So I feel that with this black bars, the video just, you know, the production quality just looks better. It looks more cinematic. So guys, anyway, now our final video is ready with the special tip also, which I gave you guys. Now it's time to render the video. You just need layers there, merge it into one and make it one single video. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna select your timeline. You know it's selected when you see this blue color outline around the timeline. Uske baad aap jayege file mein export media. Jab aap ye click karoge, aapko ek pure options milega. Tension mat lo, darana dikhta hai par hai nahi. Theek hai? Yaha pe upper format likha hai. Over there you have to choose H.264. There's a bunch of different different formats, but we'll be covering that in a more of an advanced tutorial. But for basic, just Blindly choose H.264. You can see there's something called output name. Click on that. This is going to help you know where you want to save your video. So I'm just going to go for tutorial, rename it, click save. So now your video is going to be saved over there. Over here, it says preset. 
This is where you can choose what quality of video you want. So you can see bottom over here, there's YouTube 720, YouTube 480p, YouTube 4K. What I do is I usually just leave it to match source high bitrate. But you could choose accordingly to what you want. Okay. After that, just click on export and the video will be exported where you have saved it. So guys, this was the basic tutorial when it comes to Premiere Pro. I hope you guys actually learned something out of this. Yaar, video editing is not so difficult as you feel. If you watch these basic things, if you watch this video this time, and you will actually implement every single thing, you can actually edit pretty decently. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any problems, any questions, drop them down in the comment section. I will surely answer them. Anyway, that's it for today's video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and you guys actually learned something out of this. Make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. I'll see you guys next time.